Hey guys, Nicholas the Reactor here, and today I'm going to be talking about from last night's episode of American Idol Season 16, Episode 7. Now, I'm going to be talking about the solo rounds because congrats to all the contestants who made it all the way to the top 50, who has made it this far to find out who's going to be in the top 24 tonight, which I will be talking about that later on at, during the end of the video. So without further ado, I'm going to talk about this throughout this, uh, another video. So, we're starting off the solo rounds this week. So, our first contestant of the night during the solo rounds happens to be Gabby Barrett from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Now, Gabby Barrett, this, this young woman sounded amazing last night. And you know I like her as well because she did an amazing job during her performance. And I'm telling you this though. I believe she did an amazing job because I'm looking forward to see what happens because I will tell you what room she's in, but I forgot what room she's in, but I'm going to let you know what room they're on to find out who made it through and not made it through to the top 50 during the end of the, during this upcoming video. So Gabby Byrne did an amazing job because she did incredible. I mean, in my opinion, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania is a great city. In my honest opinion, even though I do respect the Steelers for some reason, because number one, they they I respect them more than New England because the Steelers are a good football team to them. So yeah, uh, Gabby Barrett did an incredible job on that because I'm gonna be talking about their original songs in a minute. But before that, let's talk about this young contestant. I mean, this oh yeah, we got ourselves a good one. Um, Marcy O'Donaldson, man, who has a great sign. A great side. He did an incredible job on his performance. I mean, Marcy O'Donaldson, his performance was really good. I really love what he's doing, and I'm really glad to see what he does because, F I'm sorry, Marcy O'Donaldson has an amazing performance, and I'm really glad that he did an excellent job on that. And I believe his son's name is Rashad, I believe. Yet yeah, Rashad, his, his son. His son will be proud, and I'm really glad that he did an incredible job with his performance. And then we got um, our next contestant during the solo rounds is Effie Becerro. You know I like her too. Um, <clears throat> Effie Becerro, once again, another great performance. I mean, this woman got amazing singing songwriting skills, and I'm really happy to see what she does, and big thumbs up for Effie. And her, her performance was really good. And I'm telling you right now. Um. Oh yeah. Our next contestant during the solo rounds. Is none other than Amelia Hammer Harris. Now Amelia Hammer Harris. Once again. Another good performance in my honest opinion. But. I really love what Amelia is doing. And I think she did a good job on this one. Because. It's really amazing for her to see what she does. But it was still a big thumbs up for Amelia. Oh, we got ourselves a good one. We got uh, Cade Fohar, I believe. I'll call him Cade. Now, dude, about Cade, in my opinion, he did a great job with his performance. Because I'm telling you right now, I love what Cade is doing. But I'm really glad to see what happens during his performance because I really love what um what Kate is trying to do but I really love what he's trying to do and I'll give this a big thumbs up for that but I don't know about I'm gonna see what happens but I'm gonna tell you what door they're on because I'm gonna tell you who made it from one of the doors who made it to the top 50 because it was crazy oh yeah we got ourselves a good one because I'm going to be talking about Katie in a minute because I love her original song. I'm going to talk about her in a minute. Now look. Harper Grace. Her original song was outstanding however. Her original song she wrote. Is Rest in Peace. Harper Grace did an amazing job. On her original song. And she's good still. even though, And she's young still. Even though Harper Grace did an amazing job. On her original song. I'm going to give this a huge thumbs up. Because Harper Grace did an incredible job. On her original song. Called Rest in Peace. Because. Harper did a great job on her amazing performance. And. 
I love what she's doing. And she did an outstanding job on her original song. On We Got Ourselves a Good One. Before I talk about one of my favorite singers who is very kind and nice about Katie. I'm going to be talking about Noah Davis. Now I know what song he sang last night. Noah Davis performed Piece by Piece by Kelly Clarkson. Who is now in The Voice. Because you know it comes on every Monday and Tuesday. Um... Noah Davis did an amazing job on the song he did, which is Piece by Piece by Kelly Clarkson. And Noah, he is one of my favorite guys, man. I mean, I like Noah Davis. And he did an amazing job on his performance. And Noah, big thumbs up for him. And I really cannot wait to see what he does next. Because Noah, he did a great job on his performance during the solo rounds. Oh, we got ourselves a good one. You know me, I'm a huge fan of Katie Turner. Katie Turner, who happens to be one of my favorite singer-songwriters besides Effie, Harper in my opinion, Carly uh, Martha, and um, all these other original singer-songwriters. Like Harper Grace did on her original song, Katie Turner did an incredible job on her original song. This young woman did an outstanding job, an incredible job, on her original song called Petty. And, and I heard what Luke said. She is unique and incredible. This is why everybody loves this young woman. And the reason why we love Katie Turner is because she is an amazing singer-songwriter who also has great personality like Grace Vanderwall does. Like Grace Vanderwall, she had great personality. And now with Katie Turner, she has great personality. I've been a huge fan of her since day one. And you got two original songs. 21st Century Machine, she did an original song during her audition. And now, she did another original song called Pity, which is even incredible. A big thumbs up for this amazing young woman who is an incredible singer-songwriter. And yes, she may be funny and amazing, but she is one of the best singer-songwriters we have ever supported, man. That's why we are always kind to this amazing young woman who lives in Landhorn, Pennsylvania. And I really hope she makes it through far enough because Katie Turner is amazing. I really hope she makes it this far and I'm going to talk about that soon. Anyways, our next contestant, we got two people, however. Uh, we got Dennis Lorenzo. Now, Dennis Lorenzo, great job with his performance. I mean, he did an amazing job for Dennis for his performance. But, I'm telling you this though, um, Dennis Lorenzo, his performance did an amazing, he, he did an amazing job on that one. S excuse me, he did an amazing job on his performance, but I'm looking forward to see what he does. But I'll tell you what room, who made it through for room one, room two, and room three later on in a minute. Because we're getting close. And then, our next contestant happens to be Brandon Nelder. I think, I forgot who sang Philip Phillips' song, but I'm going to talk about that in a minute. Um, Brandon Elder, he did an excellent job on that performance. And I believe he did an outstanding job in my opinion. Because Brandon Elder, he was alright. He was not too bad. But I'm telling you this though. Brandon Elder will always be an amazing singer. But I'll see what happens too. Because he did an amazing job on this one. Oh, we got ourselves a good one. Um, Manny Pompey, I believe. Now, Manny Pompey, I think she did an original song too. Another singer-songwriter. Once again, she did an amazing job on her original song. I mean, we got a lot of singer-songwriters who write original songs. This, one, this young lady, in my opinion, did an incredible job on her original song. And I'm telling you this, though. I'm looking forward to see what happens because that happens to be an amazing, amazing song she did. Her original song choice she did. And I loved it. So, that's all I got to say. Now, oh my God, bro. She's cool and all. We got Michelle Suset performing. Michelle Suset. She was okay, but she stepped up big time. She stepped up 
because she couldn't practice during her rehearsal, come to find out. But she did an incredible job on High Note. She got lucky, though, because Michelle Suset, she did an amazing job on that one for a big comeback. Because I, I've never been a fan of her, but we'll see what happens. Because she is, she is a good singer, though, in my honest opinion. But we'll see what happens, though. Um, our next contestant happens to be Vaughn Bontongas. You know, the same singer who I saw during during the New York audition. Vaughn did an amazing job with his audition, his performance, but he is a good one. But I love what, what Vaughn is trying to do, but it was a great performance for him. But I really love what he's trying to do. So huge shout out to him. Oh, we got ourselves a good one. I love this one. Um, we got Johnny Brenz perform because I know Johnny Brenz happens to be, in my opinion, an amazing singer. But he did an amazing job with his song, Choice He Did. Like, this guy, in my opinion, did an amazing job with his song, Choice. And I'm telling you right now. I look forward to see what happens throughout this upcoming performance if he does in the top 50. But I don't know. But I'm telling you this though. Johnny Brenz, he did a great job on that one. Alright, who's next? It was Crystal Tal Talicia, right? Yeah, Crystal. You know the one with the with the red hair? Cool. Yes, yeah, she has red hair. Um, Crystal's performance, she was alright. Because... Her performance was not too bad. And I really believe that Crystal, in my honest opinion, did a great job on that one. Because I really believe we'll see what happens now, now that Crystal has made it through. Because for some reason, you have no clue what's going to happen now if Crystal did a great job on that. But you'll see what I mean. Because I love what she's trying to do, but if she did step up, We'll see what happens. Because remember, when after their performance, I will tell you what room they're on to find out who made it and did not make it to the top 50 during the end of the video. So yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, I believe our next contestant happens to be Deontay. I'm going to talk about Trevor Holmes in a minute. Because Trevor Holmes is incredible. He's one of my top guys too. I'm going to talk about him in a minute. Uh, Deontay Baker, another great performance in my opinion. Um, I believe that he might be doing well. But I really will look forward to see what happens. Because I'm really glad he did a good job on this. But it's really cool. Guys, let me talk about Trevor Holmes. Because you know everyone loves Trevor Holmes. <laughs> he got a lot of followers on Instagram, by the way. Now, Trevor Holmes, excellent job for this guy. Trevor Holmes' performance was amazing. Now, I love what Trevor Holmes is doing. He got a lot of followers the most on Instagram. He might be the fan favorite, in my opinion. But, Trevor Holmes, if he does make it to the top 50, we'll see what happens. Because, I believe he, well, I'm going to talk about that in a minute. We'll find out what door they're in. Found out who did make it and did not make it for one of the doors. For only two different types of doors to find out who made it to the top 50 during the minute. But anyways, Trevor Holmes, incredible job, great performance. He did an amazing job on that one. And I'm going to be talking about somebody else too. Let me talk about Matty Zahn, who happens to be one of my favorites. Now, you may remember Maddie, who auditioned back in, um, I believe, I forgot what she auditioned. Was she in L.A., I believe? Um, Maddie's performance was good, though. And I'm telling you right now, the same young woman who has a great best friend, I love her audition ever since. Now, Maddie's performance was great and amazing. And I'm really glad that she did an amazing job with her performance. And I like Maddie as well. 
Because Maddie Zom, in my opinion, is an amazing singer because I love what she's doing and I love what she's trying to do. But I'm looking forward to see what Maddie does. So guys, I am 100% excited to see what she does if she makes it to the top 50. But I'm telling you this though, it is what it is. Oh, and we got ourselves a good one. Uh, Shannon O'Hara. Now, I do remember that Shannon played on the piano. Now, Shannon O'Hara, her performance was amazing in my opinion. Because I love what Shannon is doing. And I heard she was a nanny, right? Yeah, she was a nanny. This young lady, in my opinion, did an amazing job with her song choice. I love her piano singing because she did an amazing job. Because I'm telling you right now. I am, I'm also like Shannon because she is an amazing singer. I wish they had Mara on this because Mara, oh, Mara happens to be one of my favorite singers ever. Because I like her as well. They couldn't add her on the solo rounds like, like anybody. They couldn't put Ada on there. They couldn't put Mara there. You know, one of my favorites. I like Ada and Mara. But Shannon, she did an amazing job on that one. And then we got uh, Genevieve Linkowski, right? Yeah, thank you. Now, Genevieve Linkowski, who has lots of siblings, right? In my opinion, she did a good job on that one, who was one of the youngest contestants. Because uh, Genevieve, in my opinion, did an amazing job on her song choice. And I love what she's trying to do. But I'm telling you this right now. We'll see what happens to see who was, what door she's in, but I don't know what door she was in, but we'll see what happens. Oh, we got ourselves a good one. Uh, we got Garrett Jacobs, who has to be one of my favorite guys as well. Now, Garrett Jacobs, he is an amazing singer-songwriter. I mean, I like Garrett Jacobs, and he did an amazing job with his song choice. And I love what, what uh, Garrett is trying to do, and that has to be one of the best songs I have ever seen so far. And huge shout out to him. Because I'm telling you right now, Gary Jacobs is an amazing singer. And I'm looking forward to see what happens. Oh yeah, guys. If you guys remember Brittany Holmes. Remember during my previous video when she did not make it to Hollywood? Think again, guys. Because it does make sense. When she was on Dancing with the Stars that used to come on every Monday night only on ABC. They gave her a golden ticket to Hollywood which means they gave her another chance. And she did perform during the Hollywood week including the group rounds which means she made it all the way to the solo rounds. Brittany Holmes did an amazing job with her song she did. And I love what Brittany stepping up big time ever since the... Like why would you give her a no... When she did an amazing job during her audition. But the good news is. They gave her a golden ticket to send her to Hollywood during Dancing with the Stars. Because Brittany Holmes in my opinion is an amazing singer. You have no idea how you uh, you didn't give her a yes. When she did an amazing job on her song choice during the solo rounds last night. I'm glad they brought her to Hollywood. And brought her all the way to the solo rounds for a performance. Because Brittany Holmes. I'm glad they brought her here because she is an amazing singer. So huge shout out to her. Oh, we got ourselves a good one. Um, Thaddeus Johnson, once again, another great performance. Thaddeus Johnson did an amazing job on his song choice. I believe it was Rise by Katy Perry. Yeah, it was Rise by Katy Perry. You know the song that was debuted two years ago. Now, Thaddeus did an amazing job on his song choice because I love what Thaddeus did. And he, and they were standing up for the judges. I mean, I loved it. And it was a great song choice. But I'm really excited to see what Thaddeus does because he did an incredible job on that one. And with that being said, I'm gonna, we're getting closer to the last three. So we got ourselves, we got three guys, however. One of my favorite guys I like, dude, is none other than Lane Hardy. 
who might be the favorite to win as well besides Katie Turner, Gammy Barrett, or any other singers I like who might go for the win, or maybe Ada. Lane Hardy, right? One of my other favorite guys. He did an incredible job with his song choice he did. And when I found out during the group rounds, he was struggling. Like, why would you... I'm glad they sent him to the solo rounds during the group rounds last Monday night. Because he did an amazing job of stepping up for Lane Hardy. You know, during the group rounds, if you saw their performance from last Monday. Lane Hardy did an excellent job on, on the performance he did. I'm really glad they sent him through because Lane Hardy is an amazing singer. I love how he's good at guitars. You know I love musicians who play the guitars, right? Lane Hardy is an amazing singer. And I'm telling you right now. He is outstanding. And I'm telling you this right now. Big thumbs up for this guy. For this amazing young man. Alright, we got ourselves a good one. It was Caleb Lee Hutchinson. Now, Caleb Lee Hutchinson once again a great song choice for him. He did a great job with his performance because I'm telling you right now, Caleb Lee Hutchinson, I believe he did an excellent job with his song choice. And again, I'm going to give him a big thumbs up because Caleb Lee Hutchinson is an amazing singer. I believe, I forgot what he does, but he is an amazing singer. I love what Caleb Lee Hutchinson is doing, but it was awesome. And then finally, this happens to be one of the best performers to wrap this up. Michael J. Woodard, who comes from Philly, he did an outstanding job too. And Michael did an amazing job, which happens to be the best performance of the night so far. One of the best performances of the night from him. And I'm really glad that, that Michael J. Warder has an amazing performance so far. So with that being said, let's talk about the rooms they were in. I do remember that Katie Turner was in room number one because she was there with the other contestants. And room number two, and I believe Noah was in room number three. Which is true, along with Lane Harney. Let me talk about room number one. On uh, the judges with Katy Perry, Lionel Richie, and Luke Bryan. For room number one, they made it to the top 15. Which I'm really happy because Katy was there. You know I'm a huge fan of Katy Turner. She was there with the rest of the other contestants. They all made it through to the top 15. I'm really glad because that has to be an amazing moment for them. And I'm really glad that they finally put Katie and the rest of the other contestants into the top 50 for tonight. Which I'm going to talk about that in a minute. But for room number two, unfortunately, come to find out, they did not make it through for room number two. For one of the contestants who are in room number two. So they did not make it through. Unfortunately. Because it was sad to see them go. But for room number three, though. Luke Bryan knows that they're also going through to the top 50. Because Lane Hardy was there and so was Noah and the rest of the other contestants. Sorry guys, the rest of the other contestants. I'm really glad they, they all send them all the way to the top 50. Which means, guys, that concludes it. It all comes down to this. Tonight, we're going to find out who is going all the way to the top 24. Which it all comes down to their performance for all 50 contestants. Who will make it all the way to the top 24? And it's about to go down tonight. Which I'm really excited for. Because guys. One of my favorites. I'm about to be nervous about this. I will do my reaction reveal. <clears throat> excuse me. I will be doing my reaction reveal about this call tomorrow on Tuesday. Because it's about to go down. So be sure to tune in. To watch the new episode of American Idol tonight only on ABC. Because guys, it's about to go down. So be sure to watch it to find out who is going to the top 24 during the live shows next Sunday night. Which I'm looking forward to. So that's pretty much it. That Thanks for watching. Be sure to watch it tonight on ABC to find out who's going to the top 24. Because it's about to go down. And guys, don't forget to hit that like button, 
Follow me on social medias, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat down in the description box. Guys, this is about to go down because I'm about to be nervous. And again, it's about to go down till tonight. And I'm looking forward for this tomorrow, later on tonight. I'm about to be serious if they vote off, if they let go one of my favorite contestants I like. So be sure to tune in. I will be live tweeting on Twitter tonight because it's about to go down. Including on Instagram, on my Instagram story too. So I'll see you guys. I hope I will see you guys on Tuesday and I'm, you know, tomorrow. And I hope you guys have a great happy Monday on the second day of April. And have a great Monday, guys. And again, find out who's going to the top 24. I will see you guys tomorrow on t on Tuesday for my another reaction video. And I will see you guys on the and I'm <clears throat> I'm sorry. I hope you guys have a great happy Monday. Have a great day, guys. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for now.